Hello YouTube subscribers, today or tonight, whenever you're watching this, I am doing a another trick or treat tr another trick or treat studios prop review. And um and also slash spare Halloween, so it's like because I got this at Spare Halloween. Um uh, this year, this upcoming year, Trick or Treat Studios announced that they got, they finally got the license to finally do Rob Zombie's Halloween, uh, stuff like, uh, the Lori costume, if they really wanted to. How, uh, but not just the first one, also the second movie of Rob Zombie, so, um, but I decided, but one day when I, uh, decided, you know what, yeah, basically, I still got prop review, prop review, so I still need to do that, that I got even before this beauty, uh, uh, that I got from Spare Halloween that I still need to review, or would like to review. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but, uh, 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 but I've reviewed so far of the Bates Motel that I got, that I actually ordered from Spare Halloween, first time ever. And then, um, the... Popcorn cannon, cannon gun from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So, um, and I also kind of reviewed the Scooby Doo collar, uh, collar that I got prop, collar prop replica that I got from Spare Halloween as well. Uh, but, um, but, uh, if you guys go back and and my channel, you guys would see that I reviewed the the original, the OG Michael Myers mask. This little beauty right here. That I also got at Spare Halloween. So, since I got this at Spare Halloween, I'm like, you know what? Once Trick or Treat Studios announced that, hey, which that's also a Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers mask, by the way, um, that, hey, at some point during October, uh, Spare Halloween would get these in, and, um, uh, luckily before October even began, uh, Trigger Treat Studios got every mask. They were doing two from each movie. And basically, uh, I waited, waited, and wait. I, I waited, went back and forth, thinking, okay, am I gonna, am I gonna get this prop replica? Am I gonna not get it? And, Am I going to order it? Am I going to wait for it once it comes in to Spare Halloween? At first, I was not actually going to get it. I was not going to get it at all. And granted, as I'm doing it, reviewing it now, obviously I got it. But um, I'm not really disappointed that I got it, really, because... Um, Honestly, out of all the masks they did from the Rob Zombie's Halloween movies, this one I was going to order. Seriously. Because to me, when I think of Rob... I don't hate Rob Zombie's Halloween movies. I just have a problem with at least most of them. Even though there's like two. I just have the first one. And honestly, I just like the first one. Kind of bits and pieces, 
But honestly, this one, once I saw they did this one, this one was going to be the one that I was going to order or pick up. And obviously, I picked up <laughs> um, from Spear Halloween because I just went in there one day, looked around, looked down, and there was three. Three left. And, of course, it was the one I was going to get. It was going to be this one because this one reminds me of Z Rob Zombie. Seriously, zombie rotten form. It just screams Rob Zombie. So, I'm like, Rob Zombie was the director of the remake Halloween films. Why not make it? Why not get the one that just screams out Rob Zombie's Michael Myers mouth? So, uh, of course, Spare Halloween had the one that I wanted. They had three of them. And I just grabbed, the, and I looked at each three of them. This one that I have in my hand was the first one I saw. First one in front. And I just, and... Sometimes the first one that I see is good enough for me. And honestly, it the hair of it, the hair that they have for it, the, the molding, the sculpting, it is phenomenal. It is awesome. I got to give Trick or Treat Studios credit. This is worth it. This is remake Michael Myers mask this one I don't know how the others are I'm not gonna get the others because this one I'm just gonna have this one this one's good enough for me but this one is worth it it is worth it by the detail oh, if you guys don't like it and you guys know a uh, person I can tweak your masks then cool go right ahead but um uh, basically, also how you can still tell it's from Trick or Treat Studios, they have, they left a marking in there on like, unlike this Michael Myers mask where basically inside you don't have any Trick or Treat Studios logo, but That's how this one slides on. And honestly, it looks so good on me. Not saying the Rob Zombie one doesn't, but that one does too. Putting that one over there. And then sliding this one back on because I did have it on it in the beginning of the video. Like a fucking glove. And, uh, which, uh, I went back today to, uh, my spare Halloween that I actually found this at because in Washington, they have two spare Halloweens in my location. Um, so, um, well, actually, I'm pretty sure two more at, uh, over if I go to, um, uh, Oregon, but, um, I don't normally go to Oregon around October or ever anymore, but anyway, uh, am I glad to have the original and the remake? Yes, yes indeed, because to me, it's like having both of, both, bo uh, both of great of both worlds. Also like. Tr if I ever wanted to do like a. YouTube movie of. Original versus remake. Which one would win. Although. We all know. 
original always wins because he can't one one thing about remakes don't fuck with the original but uh, uh the cardboard that uh is on it it basically looks like this that's also how i knew it was rob zombies michael myers mask on the side of the design of it. I mean. Y you can't really say this looks like the 2018's look. Because. That would just be complete bullshit. But anyway. I give it 5 stars. I really love this. It is worth it. And I do not. Ever regret what i did after i bought it because after i bought it i carried it around like i ripped it off michael myers uh head and i even put it on walking down the street uh uh so to me that was hilarious but hey again worth it definitely so Now, uh, wish list from NECA. NECA, I would like to see them do uh, the 1987 Predator wrist splint, wrist, wrist. Blades, where you had the Predator's wrist blades. I would like to see NECA do that. Like, maybe two different versions of them. Where you got one that just stays in and one that stays out. Or they somehow, like, you push a button and they pop out. And uh, the 1987 Predator... Wrist self destruct device 2009 Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees hockey mask 2004 Saw Reverse Bear Trap 1984 Terminator, like they could do, like the skull, the arm from T2, the chip from T2. Um, they could do freaking anything from that franchise and a prop replica. The guns. Um, 2023, Talk to Me, Hand. Honestly, that movie right now is so big, I'll be shocked if NECA doesn't hop on that hype train, make figure make a fig make figures or just figure uh the prop replica of the hand maybe with the candle uh hulu's 2022 hellraiser the limit figuration puzzle box uh basically uh just the one i have but by itself, NECA could do that again, but, uh, the boys Amazon series, Soldier Boy Shield, uh, Soldier Boy is my favorite character from the boys, even though at time, times I do hate him, I do like the actor that plays him, I do sometimes like Soldier Boy, I think it'd be cool if, NECA did the Shield of Soldier Boy. That would be one of the things I'd be on pre-order waiting list for sure. Just like I did with Chucky. Um, if Trick or Treat Studios don't get the rights back anytime soon. I would like to see NECA do a live size Seed of Chucky Glendale. Because... I don't care if they do T Tiffany and Chucky from Cedo Chucky. I just wanted to see Glenn. 
from the 1999 The Mummy, uh, key... The key that opens up the coffin and books. The book of... Um, I'm not... Forgive me for not saying this right. But the book of the dead and the book of Amun Ra. The black book and the gold book, basically. Um, and... I know they did, did this prop before, but I think it would be good for them to do it again to bring it back to 2010 a nightmare on elm street freddy cougar razor glove prop replica they could also do the figures of the remake freddy cougar um from trick-or-treat studios and S spare halloween which is owned by Spencer. So basically Spencer's. Anyway. Um, Little Shop of Horrors. Audrey 2 Plants. I think that would be very cool to have in my collection. Including everybody. Whoever knows. The Little Shop of Horrors. Movie. Uh, 1990. 2017. And 2019. It movies. I think it would be cool to get more more prop replicas from uh, especially from the 1990 uh 2017 and 2019 like a prop replica of the deadlights its original form uh continuing 1980 friday the 13th pamela Voorhees, silvered head 2009 friday the 13th Pamela Voorhees, Silvered Head. And if Trick or Treat Studios could get the rights back, I wouldn't mind it. I think it would be very cool they bring this prop replica back. The Shining slash Doctor Sleep Axe prop replica. I missed out the first time Trick or Treat Studios did the axe. I... I feel really bummed about it because I would like to end my collection. But if they ever do bring back the proper, uh, ever get the rights back, I think it'd be, I'll be the first one to be on a waiting list to get the axe. I don't care if they had like blood, if they put blood on it or not blood on it, I probably would get both. Um. Evil Dead 1 and Ash vs. the Evil Dead Nama Comic Con Ex Mortis Extra Pages. Because I, when I rewatched the first movie, I saw pages that wasn't in the book. That was from the first movie. And I think it'd be cool to get pages from the Ash vs. the Evil Dead show. Because it would just. It, because there, there was cool pages from that show, including. It'd just make the book feel a lot more heavier. Um, Evil Dead 2. Uh, missing pages. The actual missing pages. Like the portal time travel page. The destiny ash page. My bloody valentine. The minor mask and pickaxe. I love my bloody valentine. I think it'd be cool to get... A mask from Trick or Treat Studios and the pickaxe because it to me it's like my bloody Valentine. Whoever what knows about it is it, it's like part of one of the classics of horror films of slasher films. Nineteen eighty four Terminator, the skull head, the arm, the chip, anything, just anything. NECA, Trick or Treat Studios. Spare Halloween could do endless prop replicas of the Terminator franchise. Um, 2023 Talk to Me Hand. Yes, I know I just brought this out with NECA, but again, Trick or Treat Studios, Spare Halloween, endless with this prop replica. Anybody could freaking do it. It, it, it basically, A24 did it themselves. And honestly, I like the way they did it. And but I think if if I heard NECA, Trick or Treat Studios, Spare Halloween did one, 
I'll probably get one of those the day of competition between each other. Um, if Trick or Treat Studios could get the rights back to Universal shit, 2020 to Megan Megan Doll. I think it'd be very cool the way how Trick or Treat Studios did the Pennywise Doll. It'd be cool that they could do turn around, get the rights to do Megan, and do a Megan Doll that size. I don't care if it's just a inch shorter than the actual movie size. I don't care. It's a freaking Megan doll. Close to it. Anyway. Candyman. Trench coat slash hook. Where basically Trick or Treat Studios could do like the trench coat. Uh, just the trench coat. Not the whole costume. Just the trench coat. And also hooked on one of the sleeves. The correct sleeve side. Uh, is the hook of Candyman. Where you don't just got one over the other and you have to buy both if you want both. No. It's in one. Both in one. Uh, 2013 Evil Dead Namakon Con X Mortis Volume 2. And 2023 Evil Dead Rise Namakon Con X Mortis Volume 3. I think it'd be cool to get the 2013 and 2023 Evil Dead books. We got the original. Yeah, I'm begging for more pages for that one though. But like, it'd be cool to get those from those Evil Dead movies. Uh, from Trick or Treat Studios and Hell, probably Spare Halloween. But a little bit more leaning to Trick or Treat Studios. If Trick or Treat Studios could do this for Disney, because Disney is obviously lazy to do this for their famous for their popular movie. Disney's Hocus Pocus one and two spell book. Like, yes, it's the same book design, but like the spell, but like the spells for from the first movie and second movie. In the book. I think that would be very cool. It would sell like hotcakes. From Hocus Pocus fans. And honestly. I'm not that big of a Hocus Pocus fan. But I would buy it. Not just for my Disney collection. But also for my horror collection. Because it, the way the book is designed. Is a bit horrorish. Like scaryish. Um, Men in Black weapons. Like the Mine Eraser. One of the big cannon guns. One of those hand sized guns. Even the mini one Will Smith has for all through the first movie. If Trick or Treat Studios could get the rights back to Universal shit. Then please do a Seed of Chucky doll again. The Seed of Chucky Glenn doll again. Because honestly I messed out once I got... NECA Chucky I actually came up to realize yeah I do want Tiffany and if I got Tiffany I'm not I actually want I actually wanted a seat of Chucky trick-or-treat studios Glenn doll because to me I look at it as a funny thing I got some things of trick-or-treat studios Chucky stuff that I wanted and NECA stuff of Chucky. So I didn't mi really, up to this point, didn't mind mixing it with both companies. So, um. Damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, that's it. That's it at the wish list. Comment down below. Which Michael Myers mask is your favorite? Which um, Halloween movie is your favorite? Which Halloween trilogy is your favorite? Doesn't matter if it's the remake timeline, the original timeline, uh, Season of the Witch timeline, one of the requel timelines. Uh, so, it's, the list is freaking endless. Um, which, which... Kill scene is your favorite. What uh which Michael Myers weapon is your favorite? Uh which 
can't really say lime because the freaking bastard doesn't talk. Uh, which uh, vine, final victim is your favorite? Is that Laura Stroh? Is it her daughter? Is it yeah, her son from H2O? Um, so, and if it's Laura Stroh, which Laura Stroh is, is it? Is it the one from the 2000 and is it from the original timeline? Makes sense with the requel timeline. It, uh, of H2O and it, or is it the remake, Glory Stroh? Excuse me. Or is it the Blumhouse, uh, requel trilogy timeline? Whatever. Anything of, basically anything of Halloween, comment it down below. And which, uh, Halloween movie is my favorite? Is always the original. And if you guys wonder which, which Recall Trilogy is my favorite, that is actually hard to say. Because they're both good in their own way. Which Michael Myers mask is my favorite? When it comes to the original, of course it's the original mask. Now, unless it comes to the remake mask, then yeah, it's... Then it's the one I have and just reviewed. But, um, yeah. My favorite kill? Really don't know. I really don't. Favorite final girl? Laurie Strode. In, in any of the requel timelines that I have of movies or the original trilogy. So. Have, have a nice day. Have a nice night whenever you're watching us. Peace.